A Southfield mayoral candidate targeted earlier this week for being openly gay. Someone vandalized a campaign sign with anti-gay slurs also destroying others. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville joins us live in Southfield with more on this. Aaron. Glenda and Heather, first it was racist flyers here in Southfield. Now campaign signs are taking center stage. There's no lack of controversy when it comes to elections here in Southfield. A homemade sign with a simple message for anyone driving by. The evidence now taken away. Former longtime Southfield City Councilman Ken Siver targeted for being gay. His campaign confirming a sign for mayor vandalized with homophobic slurs. A few others destroyed. Right now, uh, there's issues around education and small business development that aren't being addressed in Southfield. And what's happening is it's being sideswiped by other issues. The race for mayor and council seats have been filled with controversy. Two separate cases of racist flyers circulating in Southfield neighborhoods, many calling it race baiting, trying to get blacks to vote. Former political consultant Brandon Bryce is a Southfield resident and was at the latest forum with these candidates Wednesday night. Any kind of discrimination, whether it's racial or if it's, uh, you know, if it's, if it's gay bashing or anything like that, it shouldn't be tolerated, uh, but it comes back to what is the issue. And I think the issue here right now is you've got two people that want to make Southfield better with two different tactics. Uh, anything else is a waste of time and it's not in the best interest of the voter. We're told Siver is extremely upset. We tried reaching out to him tonight for comment, but we're told he's unavailable. Police, though, are investigating this situation. For now, we're live in Southfield. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, thank you so much. And Dave